Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with another ASMR mukbang eating show. And today I have a keto friendly tuna sandwich that's half of a sandwich. So it, I'm using one slice of the keto friendly Aldi bread and the rest of my tuna is in here mixed with some sauerkraut. And it's just one of those little cans of tuna with like a teaspoon of mayo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Haven't had a tuna sandwich in a while. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm. Very good. Not a big lunch, but I wanted to do a mukbang for you guys. Very yummy. And this power product is pretty good. I bought it at Aldi and it's um roasted garlic sauerkraut. That's good. Um on Labor Day weekend, we did a barbecue and we had some friends over, so I had, we had made some burgers for them and some hot dogs, but I had my hot dog wrapped in lettuce so it could be keto friendly. So I used some of the sauerkraut on it with some mustard and mayo and oh my God, it was so good, you guys, so good. So I'm only doing one slice of bread and I cut it in half to make a sandwich because I already had a toast earlier with my breakfast. So I try not to eat. I only try to eat like one slice per day and I don't eat it every day, even though it is keto friendly, but I don't like to overdo it with this bread. I like to have like balance and self-control. So yeah, I control everything really, really well. But um, yeah, so I had my avocado toast for breakfast. So, you know, I don't want to have more than two, sli two slices of bread will be my maximum when I do have this keto friendly bread. So that's why I just use one slice for the sandwich and I just Cut it in half to be able to have like a top and a bottom. So that's why I'm doing it this way right now because I already did have another slice of bread. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So yummy. See, that's the thing when you buy keto friendly products, you have to have self control not to overdo it because just because it's a keto friendly bread doesn't mean that you could have like 12 slices in one day, you know? And by the way, this bread, I've mentioned it before in a few videos, and if you guys look back and then you look at my pinned comment on the Aldi bread, you're going to see like the equation of how it's worked out, but my friend Angel taught me because her brother is an expert in keto. This 
supposedly zero net carb bread from Aldi. It is keto friendly, but it's not zero net carbs. According to the macros, when you do the calculation correctly, I don't know how to do it myself, but I know he does and I trust everything he tells me because I've been very successful in my weight loss journey thanks to his teachings and my friend Angel's teachings. This slice of bread is four net carbs. So I can't explain it, but like I said, he can and she commented on that one video on two videos already that I've talked about the Aldi bread I have pinned her comment so that you guys can see how it's calculated according to the macros um, there's a certain like the division subtraction multiplication whatever that you do with all the macros including the calories that will give you the actual and the ingredients the actual net carbs on this slice of bread so Yes, they can get away with putting in their package that it's zero net carbs, but it really isn't, you know. So, um, yeah, it's four. So I always go by that. I always keep in mind when I eat this bread that it's not really zero, and I can't just go and eat half the, the loaf of bread in one day, okay. It is four net carbs per slice. So that's a, another reason why I control this bread. Um, calorie wise is awesome it's only 40 calories per slice but cal uh, ca carbs do add up so don't always believe all the labels that say zero net carbs you know? okay boo -boo. go on make me a video all the products that say zero net carbs it's not always so so Maybe it'll be zero if you have like a tiny little piece of it, but the entire slice of bread is for net carbs. So, I believe that in order to not have to worry so much, always read labels of course, but not have to worry so much about going over anything always use everything in moderation just because it says keto friendly on the package doesn't mean that you could eat all of all that you want from it you know there has to be control and moderation that's what i believe that's how i do it <laughs> and as you guys could tell i have been very successful on my weight loss journey i'm just really strong when it comes to life my diet my health and you know i have been i had been obese for so long that i don't ever want to be in that place again you know a lot of people wonder does food addiction ever really go away can you really beat it yes you can yes you can if you are strong enough you could beat it yes definitely you can so if people tell you that's not true, you're always going to be a food addict, mm. you must be careful because some things or certain foods might trigger something, but it's possible. I truly believe that I beat my food addiction because if I didn't, I wouldn't have self-control like I wouldn't be able to just stick to one slice <laughs> of bread per day that's how I know that I beat my food addiction so don't let anybody tell you otherwise okay if people say otherwise maybe it's just their insecurities you know maybe they're not as strong as you are they can do it like you do so you know they have to put you down to make themselves feel better about themselves but it's not true don't let anybody tell you that anything is impossible because you can accomplish all things you set your mind to. I am living proof. You can accomplish all things you set your mind to. Yes. Beating food addiction is definitely possible. I did it. Did I doubt myself a lot in the past? I did. I didn't know that I could actually be this strong. But life teaches you lessons. You grow. 
as you learn in life, as you mature, as you get older, you do mature in certain areas of your life. And yes, you are able to conquer certain things, certain habits, bad habits. <laughs> you could change your lifestyle completely around. With lots of hard work and dedication. Yes, you can. <laughs> I will continue to say it till the very end. Yes, you can. Never doubt yourself. Mm, oh, so good. Never let anyone put you down or put a little seed of doubt in your own mind because of their insecurities. Never. Just because they can't do it like you doesn't mean you can't. Yes, you can. All right, you guys, this was an amazing lunch. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys got to eat something yummy along with me. As always, stay tuned for more. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And click on the description box below for a link to all my social media. And I will see you all in my very next video. All right, guys. Bye-bye.